Hi everyone and welcome back to Fringe. I'm Frost. I hope you're having a great day. Today is season one, episode ten. Um, I am very excited. Last episode was a lot of lore build up, a lot of stuff about uh, John that we got, a lot of stuff about my sub dynamic. I mean, we got a lot more questions than answers. I think, which with almost every episode, and we have a bit of Peter lore. Um, that I'm very excited about because this is it's like kind of coming together because from the episodes that we've had so far we've kind of had um, Just kind of a bunch of stuff and you don't know how it relate yet But we're gonna learn that and I'm very excited about it. And I hope you guys are too I mean you already know it. Well, I assume you already know it if you don't know when you're watching fringe on with me um, then be excited, because I am excited. Very excited. Um, but yeah. I am seriously very excited for this. For this episode. What it entails. And yeah. And without further ado, let's go with the video. Security cameras out. Disarming alarm. Oh. Alarm disarmed. Roger. We're in. A robbery? Why do you have to have two lights? I think one is enough. How are we doing? Oh! It's the dude! Agent dude. That somehow hasn't been fired yet. And I was so confused last episode, but he can put things through walls. Make more sense why it was so important. Are you really doing this for petty robbery though? All that just to steal some shit? Oh my god, it's like the wall is rippling. So they need the black thing and then they can just go through it? That's it? Uh huh. I doubt this is just for money. Confirming density. And thickness, a minute 41. I'm kind of surprised the laptop managed to pull this off. My laptop is dying. I'm getting a new computer, like... Oh wow, that is... I think intangibility is the most broken power ever, but... Scary. But I was just saying, uh... I'm getting a new computer because this one keeps... Overloading. Um, so how they're doing this with a bunch of laptops, I don't fucking know. Seconds. Oh, they're after... Okay. Someone's... Uh, <coughs> deposits? Money? Well, it can't be just money. Right, I'll steal, steal the whole thing. <laughs> Imagine it doesn't work. <laughs> I would laugh in your faces. Does it work for every surface? Or is it just certain? Because I feel like certain kind of density shifting. This is what this is. Certain metals might not work. That guy is gonna get caught or die. Did I just predict that he was- Why couldn't it have been the other one that stayed? Nope, I think I, I predicted it. I don't think they expected that. I wonder if the wall, the molecules where his body was when the wall reformed just disappeared or deformed in his body. Like, did they form around him? Like, it, it makes a shape now? Or did it just, like, is there cement in him? Like, it's interesting. I want to know. That's cute. At least he had a nickname. This is Philip Broyles with Homeland Security. Please have him call me as soon as... No, so I think he did, because there's blood everywhere. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see? Ah, well, I missed it. Here. I think his... body got splattered by the cement. Security was in Cleveland, the second in Baltimore. That doesn't tell me shit. I remember a woman, particularly 
large breasts. Thank you, Walter. That was it's really... Gone. Peter, I know this man. Wait, you do? The guy in the wall? Are we supposed really? to know him? I mean, then you have my condolences. You're being serious. I heard Lugo before, so I was like, maybe we've seen him in a previous episode, but with how she... Uh, He's from call. Jersey. We had another grid. We should have tried to get him out. How are we doing? Crappy. Does not care. Otherwise, inject yourself and shut your mouth. Inject yourself? Oh, did they need to inject with something to pass? I don't think so, because they didn't inject the fucking apple. Mr. Cole, please come in. Tabarnak! This dude, coming back? You that you don't approve of my admittedly nomadic existence. In short, Walter, you're saying that you're disappointed I haven't made more out of my life. He said uh, one sentence! Yes, I suppose so. Okay, never fucking mind. <laughs> it precludes you from knowing much of anything about me. About who I am, who I've been, what I know, and Yeah, he's in some deep two, shit that we don't know about. Are you cutting wood? Human tissue. Uh, flesh. Walter. How you're looking for it is around the corner. Next She's gonna week. call 911, guys. For next week, as I oh. told you before. A corrupt lawyer? Dramamine. Suntan lotion. Is he trying to escape? Employee. Really is none of your concern now, is it? Uh, I don't know lawyer law, but I don't know if that is true. It could be. My way of saying thank you for all you've done for me. Buying your silence, more like. Olivia. Olivia Dunham. Doesn't remember her at all. In these robberies? No. Can't say I'm surprised, though. Why? He was in the military, was he not? You were in my house. No, it took me a little while to remember. Because Why does she not remember? You weren't here. Susan, I'm sorry, but I was. It was John, wasn't it? It was John, it wasn't her. You were not here. The day Raul made first lieutenant, it was just me, Raul, and John. There we go. Fucking knew it. John Scott. Damn, he's starting to influence her a lot. That is scary. Ah, nice catch. Well done. I'm carrying the tray, Walter. It's not exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really well, have to do before. anything. The solid matter is mostly empty space. Just really? as we may perceive that a life is full, that is actually a series of empty encounters. It's kind of like morbid. It's been up. Are you okay? She ain't okay. Yeah, I'm good. I didn't recognize Raul Lugo. John Scott did. You're confusing John Scott's memories. It's that. Yeah, because at first it was like, I didn't, it was like, it doesn't really matter. He just shows up and is like, hi, let me help you. So I was like, this is great. But never mind. <laughs> I think they should figure out who were the deposit boxes people. And even if I did, you, you wouldn't understand it. Oh, so they're just kind of mercenaries? That he's probably gonna kill off later. It's gonna seem an other day, isn't it? Uh, ordinary and normal for us, but very significant against highly motivated individuals and right now john scott is our only advantage oh so they're not together okay well i assume it's the same thing because i think massive dynamic Ugh. i don't know are they good i think they're bad but on a much deeper level than we know because they're good on this i mean i don't think i just don't think they could be robbing banks because so they're such a big Corporation and stuff. Do you see here? So a body and rice. Add vibration. Oh, he sinks. So its atomic structure, allowing another piece of solid matter through it. So, like the atoms would be going vibrating at the same frequency, so they could pass through, kind of. This I know from the Flash. I mean, I know. The theory, but well, obviously render one slightly. Oh. Yeah, they were all purchased twenty-three years ago, all paid for in cash. Uh, Bogus names on each account. Bogus How names. Radioactive. Like slightly. fake names. Though not clean record, responsible employee. 
I want to know how he became a criminal. Yeah, the mercenary from the looks. Him and Beat the demonstration with the rice. Would you care to watch? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Just continues on like. Who me? <laughs> wow, she's good. Raul and Susan's wedding. No way. You were there. You were the best man. Yeah. It's incredible, right? She's been able to do that since we were kids. Oh, Raul got weird. Oh, weird how? Well, you know he's the fight yeah. on the floor as well. She really and good. Excuse me. Sure. Didn't get much from that, but I would like before they came here. I was like, like high school. Like I lost contact with most of my friends from high school, which is sad because they were nice, but we didn't go to the same CJF. Um, so I was like, if you track that, my best friend from high school. It, it wouldn't know shit about me right now. <laughs> Brother. But I guess from when I post on my Instagram, yeah. but that's it. There was nothing in any of his records. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm calling you. <laughs> Can you help me? Damn. Up in Germany. Germany? Yeah, Frankfurt. My oh, but that's where the other guy is. Look like the prison guy. That's where he is. Look, he's shaking. To memorize that card. Okay. I don't know how they do it. that. Six. Seven. Stop. Which one? Four of clubs. Is it? Oh, nice. Eight, nine, no, no, no. Say that again. The, the numbers on the safety deposit boxes. Yeah, Ooh. Oh, 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 due to. <laughs> this is important. The numbers that you type every night just happen to be the numbers of the safety deposit boxes that were stolen. It's, it's fascinating. <laughs> but it's, it's a coincidence. It can't possibly be. Bro, you're having fucking magic. Can you, like. Numbers aren't significant. Don't you lie to me. What? Yeah, I don't know that realization, but bro, not significant in this universe. Never mind. Wait, what? What the fuck? Safety deposit boxes that haven't been broken into yet. Shit. I don't know. Providence. The importance to what? What was I protecting? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, I mean, the why is important if people are coming after you? Mother. Convinced I was being followed. Someone was watching my every move. And they probably were That's if they're looking after the deposits. The future. What's In the your point? Imagination. Could you ever think you'd be here? That is interesting. Unless it was by another patient. Maybe, Rafa but managed to resolve the last image in Agent Scott's optic nerve. Oh no! It's this image is linked. That's the case. It would suggest that some of John Scott's memories, perhaps the very ones we need. Are in Agent Dunham's mind. Now they're gonna go after her. But it would be very hard to go after her. But she's, you know, an FBI agent, so. In case it would be your duty to release them to me. Why is he protecting them so much? I'm sorry. And I'm not about to violate my ethical duty based on your say so. True, no. though, she would need to. Come back with Raul, he uh, used to play chess all day long. <laughs> they were like, hello? With anyone in particular? Hello? <laughs> the chess club. And do you remember their names? Get a pencil. Ah, oh, nice, dude. So, I don't think the agent was a. Let's go. Let's yes. Go. Let's go. Oh. Door, let's move. The shaking must be the side effects of the rad radiation, maybe, or just stress because his friend died. He hasn't heard from him in two days. We'll call his work and see if they know where he is. All right, we got some. Oh, so they have worked. They're not just... Okay. It's TF Green Airport in Providence. Providence, let's go. Important it is, and I'm quite disappointed with myself. It is sad to lose oh, yourself. Deposit box in Providence. What bank would you use? Providence, that would have to be the Fairmont Savings Bank <laughs> on Westminster Street. It's the only one with safe deposit boxes big enough for my purposes. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sam. <laughs> She's not even mad. Nice. Need seven. It's the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. Ah, uh, it's already there. Hmm. It's kind of. Yeah, on your back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mess suspect down. I was about to say sorry. I got. It happens a lot. It frustrates me so much when I'm editing. I like start something and then I never finish it. Um, I was about to say that. It's kind of, he used the numbers in the Fenobachi sequence, I'm like, why? If you're trying to hide something, why did you give them a hint? <laughs> like, if it was to remind himself, that failed spectacularly.
but like, you know. <laughs> Shots, I want this box open now. Not until you show me what this is all about. Think he's gonna shoot him. I mean, if we get to know. Word of advice, don't pry into things you couldn't possibly understand. Uh, Walter, remember this shit, please. I'll be happy to sign it then. I don't think he'll be um, there anymore. Not a what, Mr. Cole, in this case. Walter? Ah. Uh, why? I don't... I mean... I don't think John relates to... Is she about to be abducted? about you. He's Except still shaking. Three, it's 20 years in federal prison. I mean, it's useless. He doesn't fucking know. I feel like the mirror is useless because everybody knows that it's not an actual mirror. Is to show me your hands. <laughs> Hat caught him off guard. At least twice in the last 10 hours, and this morning you found hair on your pillow because it's starting to fall out. Ah, uh, yeah. Wrong? You violated the laws of physics, Mr. Eastwick. And Mother Nature's a bitch. <laughs> He, didn't name. he never told us his name. All right? It's probably true. I'm a freelance. I swear I don't know what he's doing. It's probably the truth, though. All I know is I overheard a phone conversation once. He's, he's going to. We're going. There's an abandoned airstrip out there. It's and? called Little Hill Field. Little Hill. Oh. Cool. I'm glad they're figuring it out. It's in here somewhere. But I hid in those banks. And how does this Must relate be. to Little Hill? Quite impressive. It's a nervous tick. It's kind of like... We can't. Um, in the trip become human. It's fantastic. The guy, he fidgets. Magic. Connor. Connor. You nearly died when you were a boy. Well, I was the scientist. Here my only son was dying and I couldn't do anything about it. Oh. And happier. But there was a problem. He had died in 1936. That is a problem. So I designed a device intended to reach back into time to cross the time-space continuum. And you succeeded? You started to recover. Dr. Oh. was a miracle. That's sus. That's but very sus. It. In theory, it would work. Ah, shit. They're going to go back in time. It could retrieve anyone from anywhere. Okay. That's bad. Really bad. Like, retrieve the greatest minds. In the history of human, north human history. Ah, oh, dang it. And since this is episode 11, I feel like they're gonna succeed. Little Hill. Oh my god. What are they gonna get? We don't know there any end goal at all. One, they know two, someone who was nine, there on five, Little Hill. Nine, yeah, there's a question that the guy asked. Where was my friend? Or something like that. We're good to go. Alright. Shit, this is really bad. What time, Jones? Mr. Cole. Him! They want to bring him out of prison. Right? Third Maybe? Ah, I knew he was gonna die. <gasps> he did that so easily! What the fuck? But if they're drawing him back in time, then he won't know about it. I don't understand. So they know? Ah, oh, it's the people come uh, from Massive Dynamic that are coming after her. Shit. I feel like remembering that you invented time travel should be a big thing. Oh damn, that is a bright thing. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. It doesn't have to be like 30 years back. It can be just like 10 minutes ago. Oh, stupid me. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Hello? What do you mean missing? It appears she's been abducted. It's you, you bitch. Need I now, what do we know about who may have taken her? Is that her? And why? Gamba? Of course. Do you have her? Oh no. 
Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. oh, because the timeline is fucked, I think. Because I thought it was massive dynamic. Because they, first of all, the Mary's in need was with, wait, is it the episode done? Um, because I thought that, the, first of all, they need her. And second, what they, like, we saw them earlier when she came to interrogate the guy. Um, and they were like, oh, no. um, and they were like, oh, target in sight. So I was like, oh, can't be that guy. I mean, I didn't consider it because we hadn't seen him yet. Right? Um, so that's why I was like, but <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, but it, I think Massive Dynamics still wanted her. I'm so confused. Because sometimes I'm like, ooh, Massive Dynamic sucks, right? And so they must be behind this, but then they do something and I'm like, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think this is the first time it's left on a cliffhanger. Like, legit a cliffhanger. Why would they, they want her though? That's my question. Because yes, John knew Ludo, but like, he knew him when he was in the military and that's it. Like, I don't get the link that Olivia has with these people, a apart from speaking with the guy, you know? Like, apart from speaking with him, I don't know what she would want. Ugh, she's so accountable. But, but yeah, so I don't know what, um, the dude, I'm gonna call him the German dude, even though he's not German, uh, even though, or maybe he is, I don't know, um, I don't know what the dude would want from her, you know what I mean? But this is getting interesting, so, so now we've tied off the um the whole apple thing and the equation from two episodes ago so that has been tied off you know we know we we know that check <laughs> um but yeah we still i'm glad it's starting to relate to some people that we know now uh it's, it's more concrete now and more like oh yeah this guy and this guy so i think it's really cool um how this relates to massive dynamic i am unsure because they had to have to they had to want her but i don't yeah i don't know if they were going against uh the criminals that we just saw in this episode something else entirely the, like master dynamic is now in the window for being really sus right um so yeah and walter not remembering stuff is getting annoying <laughs> get your shit together my man because like bro 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 it's like i'm not centered every time um so yeah, and that her memories and John's are becoming together is scary, know that it might compromise some stuff that she knows. Um, how exactly? Oh no, wait. Because I was about to say, how did my sip dynamic get to see the last image of her death and stuff? I don't know, but yeah, because she had that sheer consciousness when he was unconscious. And then, 
he died and then they got the body in my head i don't know he wasn't there <laughs> they just did, did that on her on their own um but that makes more sense so yeah no, i thought it was really interesting i think it's one of my favorites so far it's getting so interesting and so cool to just look and and, and see um time travel holy shit looks like it's only people so far i don't know how that would work to bring people but it did work because in my the whole time time the whole time in my head i was like well it can't what are they thinking right because in my like i'll pull people from the past it must be like more than blah 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 but no it could be like 10 minutes in the past like 10 seconds in the past it doesn't really matter <laughs> um so yeah that is kind of a problem sort of that i ran into ah oh, she's so protected god um so yeah but it was very interesting i really liked it um i like how we got to see peter and um olivia getting closer as well i, I feel the romance coming even if it's like this season three seasons on the row the last season like it's coming for sure there's gonna be some drama with that shit um also can't wait for some what if peter did like he's involved in something you know um so yeah i think it was really great i i can't wait to see more i i can't wait to see who this guy is, is exactly what he's looking for what his goal is how does this relate to peter uh the walter i mean how like does walter know him does he really is it related to william bell all these kinds of questions that i have that i really hope get answered soon but i think it was really great so without further ado let's look at the extras safe 8.5 out of 10 episode 29 Yes, we're getting there. The episodes were all like a hundred or some shit like that. I was like, bruh. But yes, finally. David Robert Jones is played by Jared Harris. Yeah, I, I, I know him. He is the son of late Irish actor Richard Harris, who among many other roles played Professor Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter films. Oh, okay. His role include Lainey... Lane Price in the drama series Mad Men, for which he was nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in the Drama Series, King George VI in the History Drama Series The Crown, and Valley Legasov in the miniseries Chern Chernobyl, for which he won the BAFTA TV Award for Best Actor and was nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in the Limited Series or Movie. Harris also had roles as David Robert Jones in the science fiction series Fringe, Anderson Dawes on the science fiction series The Expense, and Captain Francis Crozier in the series The Terror. He is also known for his significant supporting roles in films such as Mr. Deeds, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. That's where I know him from. Where he played Professor Moriarty. Yes, that's where I know him from. Lincoln, as well as Allied. In 2021, he took the role of Harry Selden, a leading character in the science fiction series Foundation. Cool. This week's cipher is trade. No goose episode. One of the bank robbers wants to know why, what they have been stealing and is shown an olive green gizmo that he thinks might be a camera. It's actually a wild hairy, <laughs> wild hair rug brand. The other light probably from after 1950. The other lights are used mostly in surveying to measure vertical and horizontal angle with great precision. I don't know if this was there, but this is very funny. <laughs> um when olivia dunham was at the bar with peter bishop she introduced peter as her brother rick to the barman later on in on the summit episode when olivia was talking to the providence bank's director she called him by the name mr grimes this is the reference to the protagonist of the walking dead sheriff deputy rick grimes oh i <clears throat> i know of the series but i haven't watched it the observer appears on the security monitor at the beginning of the last episode of the episode ah damn i could have spotted that one that one too hard the clue from last episode was the symbol which was seen on the side of a vent as Olivia Dunham and Shelley Francis chase George Morales. If you like this episode, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment what you thought below, subscribe to see more, and if you want the full Anna Guard reaction, don't be afraid to check out my Patreon, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.